Welcome back to the 2 Minute Warning. Today I'm taking a look at the LA Chargers, but more specifically Justin Herbert and going over why he will not have a sophomore slump in the upcoming 2021 season. But before we into the topic, question for those of you viewing, comment down below. How many league MVPs do you think Justin Herbert will win in his career? Do you think it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever it is? Comment down below and I'll give my answer at the end. Getting straight into it though. I'm going to play devil's advocate and explain, you know, kind of the reasoning and the argument other people have as to why he will have a sophomore slump. A lot of examples that I see are, you know, guys first big years in the league and recent examples, Patrick Mahomes, you know, he didn't really play his rookie year, but his first big start in the league, he played phenomenal 50 touchdowns, 5,000 yards league MVP following year. He had quite a drop off, you know, he's still won the Super Bowl, but when it comes to statistics in the regular season, he went for 50 touchdowns, like 29. 5,000 passing yards to not even close. Went to from first seed in the AFC to second seed. Just these minor things, not, you know, league MVP to not winning, not even being in contention for MVP. Um, Lamar Jackson, first year in the league. You know, he came in his rookie year and had some success, but his first year of, you know, being handed a baton, all kinds of phenomenal stats. He won league MVP, 35 passing touchdowns. He set the record for most rushing yards by any NFL quarterback in a single season in NFL history. And then the following year, you know, nothing amazing. Like, it's not like he had a bad year, but he, did, he wasn't the number one seed in the AFC anymore. He was not in the MVP conversation. He didn't break the rushing record again. And a lot of people are saying the same thing is going to happen to Herbert. In his first big year, his actual rookie year, he set all kinds of records. You know, most passing touchdowns by a rookie. Pretty much every quarterback rookie record there is, you know, except passing yards, but 300 yard gains, passing touchdowns, total touchdowns yada 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 he broke pretty much every record so everyone's saying if he follows the path of those guys he's gonna have a you know his following year will not be able to live up to what his fantastic or record or amazing year is whatever you want to call it and the thing I would say to kind of counteract that is that Justin Herbert doesn't have to I feel like that's what people are comparing to me those aren't even comparable you know Justin Herbert won rookie year he didn't have to win MVP Mahomes threw for 50 touchdowns and he had to match that in order to, you know, not have a sophomore slump. Justin Herbert's got to match 31 touchdowns. He doesn't have to match that type of record, that type of status, that type of benchmark. Not 50 touchdowns. He's got, just got to get to 30 again and he's already at where he was. Lamar Jackson, he set the all-time rushing record by any quarterback in a, singular, in a single season. That's what he had to match in the following year in order to not have a slump. Herbert, again... He's not out there running a thousand yards. He doesn't got to match that. He's got to match his 4,300 passing yards and 31 touchdowns. To me, those are very manageable numbers for a quarterback to get every single year. You know, again, that's why I feel like that argument is very, it should be very voided. It should not be acknowledged. I get why they bring it up, but to me, it shouldn't, it's just not in the same realm of comparisons when it comes to expectations. Herbert isn't you know, trying to throw or match a 50 touchdown or 5,000 yard season, he's trying to match a 31 touchdown season. And with a better offensive line, a better coach, a better scheme, a better defense to rely on, and just more experience and reps, I don't see how he will not be what he was last year, if not better. Another argument I see is that the offensive line is unproven. While I can't deny that, you know, on paper, I love it, but it is unproven. You're telling me even though it's unproven, it's going to be worse than it was last year. Last year, it was like, according to pro football focus which is kind of biased depending on the writer it was bottom last but that still tells you within range they're a bottom five offensive line last year this year when you completely rebuilt it got the second best prospect out of the nfl draft when it comes to the tackle position you got the best center in the league and that's pretty much all you need to show you got a better offensive line but then you still don't did more than that blog is going to be playing you got two new guards Odea Bushi and matt filer you can't tell me it's not going to be better yes it's unproven into how much better but are we really going to act like it's going to be the same? No. So what quarterback is worse or has a slump with better protection? I just don't see that happening. Coach, Brandon Staley, another one you could call unproven. That would be kind of the argument people have that's why he may have a sophomore slump. The game plan might be inconsistent. He might not be used to the schemes. If Brandon Staley is good enough to keep his job, he doesn't have to win coach of the year. doesn't have to win a Super Bowl. Be the next Sean McVay, be the next whoever you want to call it, Kyle Shanahan, Bill Belichick, Andy Reid, Sean Payton, John Harbaugh. If he's good enough to keep his job, he's already an upgrade over Anthony Lynn. And you could say, well, even if he's good, Justin Herbert still won't be used to it. I mean, it's a brand new scheme, brand new plan. Justin Herbert had a brand new plan as a rookie, no NFL experience, no training camps, no OTAs, COVID Central, 
week one or first week he started his week one week two he went in three seconds before kickoff not knowing he was going to be the starter and played a heck of a game against the Kansas City Chiefs no matter how complicated just or excuse me Brandon Staley's game plan scheme coaching style whatever you want to call it is it's going to be a lot more easier to understand than it was last year without any experience any reps any practice any camps nothing I just don't see how he would be worse. I'm not saying he's going to go from 31 touchdowns to 50, but for me to see him take a step back, to for me to see him have a decline, I just think, I don't want to say it's impossible. You know, anything, so he could break his leg, of course, but it's just very unlikely in my opinion. And for a lot of people saying they're going to have a worse record than 7-9 last year, I think that's crazy. Of course, every team improves in the offseason, not just the Chargers improved. Every team does but getting the best center of football, the second best left tackle out of the NFL draft, who has the upside to be the first, one of the better coaching prospects, you know, he's still improving. I'm not going to act like he's the greatest thing ever, but Brandon Saley, a guy that I seem to be very fond of, a top five safety in the league coming back, you can't tell me this team, if it's just managed better, won't have more wins, if not the exact same as next year. You know, I'm being real conservative just to say, well, to say the same you just, I just don't see any regression versus progression for this team. As the Chargers might be getting slightly overrated in some people's eyes, sure, but then in others will be underrated. So it's a balancing act. I mean, everyone has a different opinion, their different perspective, their different angle. But in my opinion, trying to be an unbiased opinion, my broad opinion, I don't like to be biased towards any team, even my favorite one, the Buccaneers. I just don't see the Chargers regressing or Justin Herbert having a sophomore slump. Again, I'm not saying he's going to throw 50 touchdowns in – if he's just anywhere in the range of 29 touchdowns to 33, he didn't progress, but you can't tell me that's a slump. He did what he did last year. He met the same goals. He met the same criteria. He didn't, you know, fall to his expectations or live up to them. He's just kind of stagnant, which is fine. It's not a slump to throw 31 touchdowns. Throwing 30 touchdowns is harder than people think. Baker Mayfield's going into, what, his fifth year? Fourth or fifth year, one of the two, and he's still yet to throw 30 touchdowns. And I know Herbert's on the next better status and. Baker Mayfield, but you guys get what I mean. Even if he is exactly what he was last year, that's still not a slump. There's You just can't tell me he'll be worse. I refuse to believe that take. I'll, like Mahomes says, I'll believe it or I'll see it when I believe it, if you go by his words. But I'll believe it when I see it. I don't see it happening. I think Justin Herbert's going to have a great year. I think the Chargers will have a great year. I believe in him a lot. I believe in this team a lot. I'm, I don't know if they're Super Bowl favorite ready. But I do think they are wild card contending ready. And I do like this team. And I like Herbert. And I like this whole plan they got moving forward. You guys tell me, though. Maybe there's a player, a scheme, something. I'm just not thinking of any variable that I'm not taking into account. Drop it down below in the comments. I'm mobile-minded. I'm willing to sway my mind one way or the other. Like I said, I like to be unbiased. So if you guys got the right take, I'm willing to talk about it. And I love replying to you guys anyway. So let me know. And I'm referring back to the question today. How many MVPs for Herbert? At this pace, it'd be hard for me to say he'll never win one. It's also hard for me to say how many he will win because that's a really tough question to answer. I'd say at least one. I do think he will get one in his career. I mean, Matt Ryan has an MVP, but there's also guys like Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, who are Hall of Famers and never had an MVP. So it's a tough call, but still, I see Herbert getting one eventually in his career at least. You guys tell me, though. As always, and of course, thank you for watching. Two in a morning.